The draw for the fourth round has already been made, and the winners of this one here between Liverpool and Oldham will be away to Burton or Bournemouth. So, uh, a chance to progress, I think, from that draw, Dean, as we're underway. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, not unusual, but nowadays it happens that, you know, you know who you're going to play. You know, years ago it was um, the draw after, you know, everybody was in the hat, and you know, but there's lots of permutations now with ties still to play. It was better on a Monday lunchtime, wasn't it, the draw, when everybody knew yeah, what was able to do, barring replays. Anyway, we're on underway, and it's Oldham Athletic with Petrasso on the far side, building the first attack of the game. They're in blue with the white shorts. They've lost it, though, just outside the edge of the Liverpool penalty area. And there's a crunching challenge coming in there on uh, Stephen Gerrard, who's down very early on on the edge of his own penalty area, helping out his defenders. And we're going to see a yellow card straight away for that offence. But Corey Smith, the captain, the two captains coming together, and Corey Smith goes into the book straight away inside the first minute. Well, on paper, you would imagine the old room inside the changing room were saying, um, yeah, let's stamp our authority in the game and let's get into him and in and around um, Liverpool. And that's certainly what Smith did because that was a crunching tackle, tackle on Stephen Gerrard on the edge of the box. And uh, again, I think Brenda Rogers was thinking this would be a nice uh, introduction, Stephen Gerrard back up to speed. But, um, I don't want to see too many tackles like that right now, then, because he's, uh, he's going to be precious for Liverpool for the rest of the season. So, 0 0 on Five Live Sports Extra. Gerard is back up on his feet. The yellow card has been brandished by our referee, Stuart Atwell, and we're back underway with Liverpool in possession on the far side with Colin Toure, the former Manchester City and Arsenal man, who was brought in actually to replace Jamie Carragher for this season. He's been in and out of the team, sometimes slotting in at right back, and his ball forward results eventually in a free kick for Oldham Athletic, which is taken by Jonathan Grounds. Long ball forward, headed up and away by Colin Turi. It'll drop, perhaps, for Steven Gerrard. Still Liverpool inside their own half. Suzoko, under a little bit of pressure, eventually is forced to play it out for a throw-in for Oldham, to be taken down in front of us by Kosunga, the Swiss player, to Wesolowski, who's wearing a face mask for this game. We'll tell you why in just a second, if Liverpool can clear their lines. They do through Suzoko up to halfway. It's headed infield by Oldham, but breaks only for Raheem Sterling, and now Luis Alberto out to the far side. And here's Martin Kelly coming forward. Raheem Sterling's ahead of him. He has possession, level with the Oldham penalty area, down the right-hand side for Liverpool. Liverpool threatening to cross, he's under pressure from Jacob Mellor, the left back, and the ball has run out of play off Sterling for an Oldham throw in in front of their vociferous supporters who are making a, a decent noise. The rest of Anfield fairly quiet, awaiting the entertainment that they're hoping Liverpool will provide. And that's why it's fantastic the FA Cup because Liverpool, with all the fans, expect a goal feast and a, a, you know loads of goals flying in, but uh, Oldham come in hope that. Uh, they can raise their game and cause an upset, so we're all here in anticipation. I think you can sense, you can always sense a, an upset, maybe it was the first 15, 20 minutes of a game, you know, so it'll be interesting to see how this comes out. Well, it's been a fine balancing act by Brendan Rodgers to pick a Liverpool team strong enough to get through without the embarrassment of last season, but also just to rest a couple of players, give them a, a bit of a break after the hectic, festive period. When Liverpool did, of course, lose a couple of big away games and lost a little bit of ground in the Premier League. Well, they are fourth in the table up against League One Oldham, who are 19th in that division. Here's Aga to Victor Moses, who is able to play despite being on loan from Chelsea because the loan is for the full season. Chelsea, by the way, playing at the moment over on five live. Commentary on that one. Derby against Chelsea. It is still nil-nil, very close to half-time. The last I heard it was 1-1 between Sunderland and Carlisle. Here's Suzoko, near side for Liverpool. Infield to Jordan Henderson, one of the heavyweights who is included for this one. Gerard seems OK after that earlier bang, and now it's Colo Toure to Kelly on the far side, and Liverpool just trying to find their rhythm for the first time in the game. All of the players wearing black armbands because of the death of Wayne Harrison and indeed Eusebio. Here is Victor Moses, good ball to Sissoko, he's inside the penalty here, low ball, built the far post, headed away by Oldham, out to the far side, collected by Petrasso, the Canadian, but he's lost it to Kelly, Kelly swerves over, another decent cross, that's headed away, out to the far side, and Kelly's in there again for Liverpool, but his touch is too heavy, and it's out for a goal kick for Oldham, who were under pressure there for the first time in the game. Yeah, when you say they're under pressure, I think a signal and a sign of that is Sissoko, the left-back, puts the cross in, 
Yeah, he'll lose everybody. Yeah, and he'll lose everybody. 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 Oldham setting up, you know, they, they will have to sit in and they will have to withstand a lot of pressure and be really, really disciplined. But what it does do, it means that Liverpool can press on on the front foot and, and pass and probe and, and try and create opportunities, which I, I, I'm undoubtedly that I think they will this afternoon. Mark Oxley is the goalkeeper for Oldham on loan from Hull City on this blustery afternoon. He easily clears the halfway line with that clearance. And it's uh, Phyllis Kirk to Wesolowski for Oldham. Chipped into the penalty here towards Phyllis Kirk. Headed away by Colaturi. Might be a corner. Says Oko can't prevent that. It's a corner for Oldham. And that's the roar from the opposite end of the ground. This corner's in front of the cop for Oldham. Yeah, these opportunities set play certainly for the, uh, the lower club are going to be really important. So, going to take your time, set it up. They've obviously got pre... Uh, Free work plans and, and, and runs of how they want to work this thing, so uh, this, this is, these are big for, for Oldham. Well, the fullback David Miller takes the corners. This one comes in towards the far post, and Brad Jones is there to claim it and fold it out first time to Victor Moses. Moses has got Aspas ahead of him, and uh, Luis Alberto on the far side plays it to Aspas. Across lowers in the penalty area, runs behind Moses and runs behind Alberto. Alberto's got it now on the far side, in towards the near post, and hit away for a corner by the defenders' ground and a corner for Liverpool. That was a swift break, but it might have been swifter with a better ball. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, everything I just said about set plays being important, the one thing you don't want to do is yeah. chip one up into the goal in the time because Liverpool broke really, really quickly. And in all honesty, I think Moses was, was a yard or two off scoring. So, Gerrard will take the corner from the far side, the Liverpool captain, out swinger with his right foot towards Aga, who scored in the last game here against Hull. Heads clear, back out to Gerrard, who's kept it in play. Swerves it in again towards Aga at the far post. He's beaten in the air by Wesolowski, and the final touch came off the Liverpool man, according to referee Aswell. We're looking a bit confused here in the press box, but it's a goal kick. Lee yeah, Johnson's applauding, he's happy, the older man. <laughs> we, we always are, even if we think it's a dodgy decision, if it goes to your team, then uh, yeah, you can style it out and look as if you knew it would. <laughs> Sometimes you can applaud too much and the referee thinks, hold on a moment, I must have got that wrong, <laughs> if he's that happy. <laughs> Cleared away by Oxley, the goalkeeper. Headed on by the centre forwards, Clark Harris, and uh, away eventually by Liverpool, Colo Turi, lots of air underneath that one. Straight on to the head there of Miller, the left back, and now Gerrard forcibly into the header to Aspas out to the far side and Sterling can't collect that one. Too much zip across the surface and out for a throw in. It's wet, but it's not as bleak and miserable and the pitch isn't quite the same as the pitch was at Pantry Park last year. No, that, that's certainly true, but uh, Gerrard there with an aerial battle with uh, Smith and I think he was just letting him know that, yeah, you know, he came in and hard on me in the first minute or two, but... You know, it's senior football and I'll, uh, I'll accept that challenge. Here's a run from Moses down the near side and this time it will be a corner. The referee's on the spot to get it right and uh, Jim Sedek, Kasunga it was. Corner taken short towards Sissoko who can't control it. And here's a chance now for Holden to break but Sissoko has committed an obvious offence bringing down Phyllis Sirk. And that will be a free kick for Holden who has Brendan Rodgers' son, the 20-year-old Anton Rodgers on the bench in reserve to maybe come on later and score the winner against his dad. That's what he's dreamt anyway. You, yeah, you've scripted it perfectly for it to happen, <laughs> so let's see if it does. I have a few doubts, but uh, Oxley clears the Oldham goalkeeper, headed back by Henderson. It's still nil-nil, by the way. It was Aga heading it back all the way through again to Oxley. Talking of the two goalkeepers, Brad Jones was held culpable in part for the defeat last year, so this is a big chance for him to make amends as the understudy to McNeilay. Yeah, McNeilay's come in and done uh, exceptionally well for, for Liverpool, so Brad Jones just has a, a, a bit part to play in sort of cup competitions, but certainly uh, if games are few and far between, the ones, you know the opportunity you do get to play, you really want to show what, uh, what you're capable of. Still nil-nil, Ian Brown and Dean Kiley with you here. There's been a goal, another one at Sunderland. Peter Slater's there for that cup tie. Sunderland back in front. Adam Johnson scored the first with the free kick that curled round the wall. Had a bit of good fortune with the second one. It was Johnson's shot. It took a wicked deflection off the uh, Carlisle captain, Sean O'Hanlon, and curled past goalkeeper Greg Fleming into the net. Sunderland 2, Carlisle 1. Thanks, Peter. And it's half time at the I Pro Stadium, as I think it's called now. It used to be Pride Park. Uh, Derby nil, Chelsea nil is the half-time there. Earlier, Nottingham Forest beat West Ham. 
by five goals to nil. Uh, it was very much an unrecognisable West Ham 11, apart from, I think, Downing, Jarvis and Maiga played, but the rest of them, youngsters, and uh, they paid the penalty there. Uh, li I listened to the commentary on the way up in the car, uh, yeah. five by commentary, five and, uh, yeah, it, uh, it, it sounded like a, a difficult day for West Ham, and uh, our West Brom side went uh, and, and drew 3 all with West Ham uh, in and around Christmas time, and... Uh, yeah, I think they, they play today a semi-final in the week and also go to Cardiff in the league next week. So yeah, they, it doesn't get any easier. We've got Manchester City, haven't they, in the League Cup semi-final first leg on Wednesday, have the Hammers. So they sacrifice the FA Cup, really. Here, Liverpool nil, Oldham nil. Nobody sacrificing this one. We're in the 11th minute. Liverpool in red, have possession. The rain just about holding off at the moment. And it's Kolo Toure in gloves who passes it to Kelly on the far side. Here's... Luis Alberto to Henderson, just this side of the centre circle for Liverpool. Smoothly out to Sissoko, who loves to push forward on the left-hand side, that's the instruction. Henderson sets a lovely ball out to Raheem Sterling down the far side of the penalty area, takes on the defender, and I think it's run out for a goal kick off Raheem Sterling. Nobody's going to argue with that one. It was a good challenge in the end there by the full-back Miller, and a goal kick for Oldham. There were holding their own at the moment, Dean. Yeah, they certainly are. I mean, like I say, they, they know they're going to hit for a difficult day in terms of, uh, you know, their defensive shape and they're going to be come under pressure, but um, it's important they remain disciplined and uh, because Liverpool will pass and probe and pull them from side to side and wait for that opening to appear and then take them chances. Um, so, yeah, they have to be disciplined, but, uh, yeah, they're doing OK. And they're taking their time over this goal kick, as you might expect, taken by Oxley in the end, headed on there towards Phyllis Kirk, but Liverpool clear, Moses filters it in the field, but Corey Smith gets a touch at the Phyllis Kirk. On now to Johnson, Clark, Harris, to Wesolowski, and the ball is played it to uh, Jonathan Grounds, who did well to control it on the halfway line for Oldham, who are coming forward, a little flick in field by Phyllis Kirk, gives the ball away, and it's a long one for Raheem Sterling to chase for Liverpool down the far flank, Grounds is across there, and Grounds is tucked back by Raheem Sterling, uh, Grounds has won the ball, in the challenge, and Sterling committed the foul. It's going to be a free kick for Oldham. And Jonathan Grounds, pretty experienced player. Played quite a few games for Middlesbrough in the Premier League. Yeah, he certainly did. And um, he finds himself playing at Oldham. And, uh, you know, you just want to rack the games up from whatever level you're playing at. You want to, you want to give up your best. I think he's a good, experienced player for Oldham in, their, uh, in the heart of their defence. And uh, just had a good minute or so there where he uh, repaired a, a poor ball towards him and then uh, got on the end of the service. Adam Rooney trying to get involved for a first time for Oldham inside the Liverpool penalty area, but Liverpool get the ball away. Raheem Sterling on the far flank, funnels it forward towards Aspas. Firm challenge comes in on him from Tarkowski, but it's back with Liverpool, and uh, now they give it away. Tarkowski clears again, straight at Martin Kelly. That was loose play by the League One side. Can't afford to give the ball away that easily, albeit Liverpool are still on the halfway line with Henderson for Steven Gerrard, who's lying very deep and uh, orchestrating with the ball out to Martin Kelly, the right-back who's had all his injury problems, and England international, of course, Kelly. Here's Alberto to Henderson. Liverpool moving it from side to side, switching it to Sissoko, who's forward now on the left-hand side, taking on Rooney. In comes the cross, it's just behind Moses. Moses to Aspas, and here's Luis Alberto with a shot just wide of the far post. It was about a yard wide in the end there. From the Spanish player who's yet to score for Liverpool, it remains nil-nil. Yeah, again, the supply line coming from Sissoko. Um, down the left-hand side, puts a low cross into the box, and uh, Moses did well to get that under control. And instead of trying to twist and turn and get his own shot off, very unselfish, laid the ball back, and uh, Alberto, like you say, is a decent effort goal, and just a yard or two wide. So here it's still nil-nil, nil-nil between Derby and Chelsea. And uh, Sunderland leaving Carlisle by two goals to one, as we heard a few moments ago. Sissoko wins the ball defensively now for Liverpool. He started in sprightly fashion up the line to Victor Moses, who's well challenged by Kasunga. And now it's back to the central defender grounds. Nice play by Phyllis Kirk, out to the near side to Adam Rooney. They're inside the Liverpool half, but Wesolowski gives it away. Uh, Liverpool return the favour, Victor Moses has uh, lost it, and here is Rooney, near side for Oldham, low ball, into the penalty area, thumped away by Hager, on the volley, straight into Dutch, straight into the crowd beneath us, and that's going to be an advanced throw in for Oldham Athletic. Yeah, Victor Moses was guilty of giving away possession quite cheaply there, on two or three occasions, a little passage of play where Oldham lost possession, 
Moses gets it and gives it straight back to him. So uh, got to guard against that because uh, Oldham have you know, set their stall out and done okay. Yes, I think a, a few of the Anfield faithful have been disappointed with the Victor Moses contribution since he joined from Chelsea. Here's uh, Phyllis Kirk for Oldham. Still level with the Liverpool penalty area. Phyllis Kirk with a cross which, uh, well, is caught on the wind. Shall we be kind? It sails well into the cop and it's going to be a goal kick for Liverpool. Still goalless. 15 minutes played here on Five Live Sports Extra from the, the BBC. Ian Brown here along with Dean Kiley. West Bromwich Albion goalkeeping coach, amongst other things, at the Hawthorns at the moment. And uh, West Brom play Liverpool very shortly, don't they? He, he's spying again. Always. So does that make me a uh, scout as well? Yeah, you're a scout That's as that. well. Scouts, broadcaster, groundsman, did you say earlier? I'd turn my hand to anything, whatever's needed, I suppose. <laughs> uh, the ball is played forward here by uh, Oldham. The chase is on through the middle for Clark Harris, and the uh, goalkeeper Jones had to come outside of his penalty area to side foot the ball away quite quickly for Liverpool. I think he was always favourite to get there, but it was a, a temporary alarm there for Liverpool. So I'm totally in control of this game by any measure of means. Oldham have got another bout of possession with grounds inside his own half. That's a poor ball by him. Occasionally they do let themselves down with their passing. Here's uh, Luis Alberto. He's challenged by Wesolowski, the man in the mask who's not happy with the referee's decision. Wesolowski, who was the victim of uh, a very poor challenge in that replay against Mansfield back on January the 17th, fractured his cheekbone and now is back wearing a, a very prominent Gaza style mask. And I think that's the, the word prominent because so many people, players that wear them, they try and get the neutral flesh skin coloured ones, but he's like, no, <laughs> give me a bright white one. It's white. Oh, and he looks like some sort of FA Cup superhero. I mean, this could be. If he scores the winner, he wants us to know who it is. Absolutely right. Wesolowski's the name. He's one of the two who started against Liverpool. Last season in a 3-2 upset win at Boundary Park. So much chin, particularly amongst Lewis. Three clubs with players coming and going. It's amazing how many changes there have been at Oldham, including, of course, the manager. It was Paul Dickoff then. Now it's Lee Johnson at 32. In charge of a football league club. He was 31 when he took over. The youngest in the game. Yeah, I mean, did raise a few eyebrows, I have to say. I've played against Lee uh, many times uh, during our careers and that, but... Um yeah, he came out of the blue, but he's obviously embraced it. He, every time you hear him um, being interviewed, he, he seems like he's enjoying it and relishing the challenge, so uh, good luck to him. Yeah, always sounds chirpy, and his dad's already through to the next round with uh, Yeovil's victory yesterday. Here's uh, Sizoko to Moses, still nil-nil. Liverpool in possession on the halfway line. Turn back to Aga. What do you think Brendan Rodgers is making of it so far after 18 minutes? They haven't really planted their foot on the game. No, they haven't. Mark Oxley hasn't really had a significant save to make. Uh, I think it's really interesting that um, Moses received the ball actually behind Sissoko. So, Oldham have put up a real big, strong defensive block of players and Moses and Sterling, the deeper they come, the better that is for Oldham. They need to play between the lines, those two. Yes, Aspas trying to work his way forward for Liverpool. He's dispossessed and it's uh, cleared away by Kasunga. We talked about Jonathan Grounds having experience in the Premier League because Sunder has actually played in the Champions League against Manchester United in his days at Basel. Now here he is with uh, Oldham Athletic. Here is Sterling though for the Liverpool. 20 years now, Raheem Sterling plays it to Henderson and Sissoko, the man on loan from Valencia, wanders forward to Henderson. No great urgency about this Liverpool play. Colletieri rolls it down the far side to the advance Martin Kelly. Can he deliver a cross from the right? No. Into Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto, the former Seville player, finds Gerard. Well, he put some pace into the pass, but it was totally inaccurate. Suzoka wasn't that far forward, and that's given away by the Liverpool and England captain. Starting his first game of World Cup year, of course, Steven Gerrard. I wonder what 2014 holds in store. Well, it, it, if that's a tee for me to uh, predict what England will do in the World Cup, I'll take the fifth. Pass. Yes. Yes. Hope he passes better than he did then when he gets to Brazil. I think it's fair to say that. I was given away <laughs> by Gerrard. The ball is forward with uh, Henderson now driving forward for Liverpool, which he likes to do. His pass does reach Zizoko on the left-hand side. 
turned back to Luis Alberto, who's always looking up, trying to pick the pass. Headed on by Moses into the penalty area. Luis Alberto has defenders around him. Can he wriggle it to the byline? He looks for support. He gets it from Aspas. Back to Henderson, 25 yards out. Tipped in towards the far post. Kelly across into the middle and headed away by Grant for a corner. Again, the right call back all the way forward there, posing a threat beyond the far post. Yeah, I think it's a, a theme of Liverpool's play. They, they get lots of possession, which means the fullbacks can go and join in and be an offensive threat. So Kelly found himself totally unmatched and just tried to head back across the goal, but cleared away by Oldham. But uh, they need to be patient. The crowd needs to be patient because there will be times that Oldham they look like they're going to be difficult to break down this afternoon. 20 minutes played, Liverpool corner, nil nil. Gerrard sweeps it in high, Aga tries to head it down, the defender half clears, it goes back by Moses to Gerrard on the far side, he whips it across, which is into the side netting, it didn't take a deflection, Liverpool are claiming that it did, we didn't have a good angle on that, but those Liverpool players, Stephen Gerrard in particular, are absolutely convinced that it's a goal kick. I think you mentioned it earlier, sometimes by the way people, um, you know, the way they react, that tells you what's happened, but uh, no, Mr. Steven Gerrard, the line was only yeah. five yards away from where Gerrard delivered, so Steven Gerrard looked at the linesman, arms out wide, yeah. to say, like, you know, but you don't be believe the Liverpool players because five of them are cleared at the same time. Yeah. So, uh, again, we think the officials might have made an error, but Oldham not complaining about that. They pump it long from the clearance. Daniel Agado has it for Liverpool, the vice captain of the club, and Suzoko back to his goalkeeper. Brad Jones. Already we have the attendance figure for this game, 44,102, so that's a full house here at Anfield and from uh, Oldham, 5,755. That's the official travelling support as the ball reaches Corey Smith on the edge of the centre circle for Oldham inside his own half. He gets it back. Now it's Wesolowski and uh, also Tarkowski out to the near side and Fasunga on to Wesolowski and Rooney down the near side chasing up against Suzoko. Suzoko's done well to take it towards the corner flag. He swivels and clears to touch. And that will be a throw in for Oldham. Occasionally they play the stray pass Oldham and give it away. But uh, on other occasions they look quite slick. And I know Lee Johnson does like to play a passing game as the uh, Anfield crowd begins finally to make a little bit of noise and encourage this Liverpool team whose performance has been a little bit tame so far and we've had a quarter of the game. Yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting what you say that you, you look at Oldham and you think, well, they're struggling in League One, they're coughing and sprutting along, but actually, for the first 22 minutes of this game, it's done OK. I have Oldham fans uh, disgruntled with home form at the moment. So here's Lewis Alberto, long range, picked away by the goalkeeper, Oxley. That was hit with some power by the Spanish midfielder and the goalkeeper did well to get hands to it and deflect it well out of harm's way and it's been cleared by Oldham but uh, Oxley brought into real action for a first time well 23 minutes played and that's the first real save of note for Matt Oxley but uh, he did well with it just put up a big block and got it away because in these sort of conditions with a well let's mention that is it the pink or the mango coloured ball so uh, you know he decided to put that away and it's, uh, yeah. it's a strong he's a decent strong block for Matt Oxley you were listening to Five Live earlier. The mango coloured ball, yes. It looks different in reality than it does on the TV. On the TV it looks absolutely pink. When I'm watching it here in the match with my own eyes, it looks orange, but apparently it's mango. Well, I've trained with one for the last couple of days and we played one yesterday and it looked pink to me, I have to tell you. And I, I wouldn't even know what colour mango is. Kind of pinky orange, I guess. <laughs> I think you've nailed it. <laughs> I think I have. Here's the colour to Agger. Does it behave any differently, this mango ball? It's not a friend of goalkeepers, let's put it that way. It's, I think it's designed not to be a friend of the goalkeeper. More goals in the FA Cup, is that the idea? Which is obviously what the majority of the population, barring every goalkeeper and old goalkeeper, want to see. Well, I saw the uh, Everton game yesterday. It was at that one. There were some special goals there from long distance, catching out... Uh, Julio Cesar is not a bad goalkeeper. Here's Rooney for Oldham, tries to deliver into the Liverpool penalty area. Liverpool scrambling just outside their box, untidily. But Steven Gerrard plays an excellent pass in the tackle to Moses. Moses is running at the defender. Takes him on the outside and then, uh, well, overruns the ball. And uh, Victor Moses has made a mess of that. Good work by Tarkovsky, the defender, to get in his way. But Victor Moses 
should have done better. He lost control, he lost his bearings, he lost the ball, and he's given away a goal kick. Yeah, and I think Jordan Henderson is just still saying to him that he has to get his, his eyes up and see a pass because he charged at the defender, put him under real pressure, but actually there, there is a time, even if you're, you're an offensive dribbling player, that you can get your eyes up and play a pass. And Henderson had broke away and was there for a square pass, but just didn't receive it. Moses didn't see him. Just a reminder that Suarez and Coutinho, perhaps the players of the moment for Liverpool, if you have to choose more than just Suarez, are both on the bench. Here's uh, Martin Kelly. Kelly pumping his arms and his legs up the far touchline for Liverpool. Sterling's beyond him and wide of him on the right hand side and comes in field. He uses Aspas. Aspas back to Henderson and wide again to Kelly. Chance to cross. No, back to Henderson. Henderson in the orange boots. Throws it short to Aspas who tries a, a blind reverse pass. But straight at the defender, he gets it back rather fortunately. Lots of space for Sissoko on the near side. But again, the pass doesn't reach its target. It's easily blocked by Oldham. And Liverpool have to start again with Luis Alberto. Decent ball along the turf to Sissoko this time. The Frenchman to uh, Alberto is given Sissoko too much to do. And uh, it's clipped away into touch by Kazunda. And uh, a throw in for Liverpool. And look at the watch tells us we've played six. 26 minutes here on 5 Live Sports Extra from the BBC and it's still 0-0 0-0 as well Derby and Chelsea in that match which kicked off at 2.15 I mentioned the draws been made already for the fourth round I'll give you all the information at half time on that here are Liverpool with Henderson out to the far side Kelly with a chance to cross then it comes to the near post away by Grounds and that will be a corner the assistant and the referee agree Nobody complains it's a corner for Liverpool. Yeah, no complaint about that one. But again, a fallback for Liverpool crossing into the box. I don't know, maybe in Oldham's game plan, maybe defending crosses, I think they'd be okay. You know, in the box is going to be Aspas and people like that, and I'd say they'd be, uh, be okay with that. Yeah, they're not the tallest. We're going to see uh, Alberto with a, a corner low into Aspas. He gets it back to his countryman, and it comes from Alberto. Long one, nobody there for Liverpool. Four clearance, though, to Raheem Sterling, who drags it down. Two of them make the block, and it's Wesolowski who brings the ball away for Oldham up this near touchline and wins them a throw in. They defended that pretty well in the end when it just about broke for Raheem Sterling. So let's get an update on that Derby County against Chelsea tie, also in the third round, of course, with Phil White. Still goalless, Ian. Good chance for Derby a moment ago. Jenny Wall with a free kick on the edge of the area. Killed it. A fair way over Mark Schwartz's bar. Chelsea should be ahead. They had all the, all the pressure, all the ball, all the possession. And Oscar had several chances. All going wide. They're in control, but they're not on the score sheet yet. Still Derby nil, Chelsea nil. Commentary on that, of course, on the Five Live right now here in Liverpool inside the Elden Penalty area. In comes the shot from an angle from Kelly. And it's straight at Oxley. And the full-backs are looking the most threatening players out there for Liverpool just at the moment with the score at 0-0. Uh, that Derby match, by the way, kicked off at 2.15. Sunderland against Carlisle was underway at 2. Peter Slater can update us on that one. That means we have 18 minutes left for play here. It's uh, still 2-1 to Sunderland. Adam Johnson with the first goal. The second goal deflected off a Johnson shot by O'Hanlon. Both sides just made a couple of substitutions. One of the Sunderland ones bringing on Duncan Watmore. Dylan have they brought in from Altium. All the listeners might remember his dad, Neil Watmore, playing for Bolt and Wanderers amongst others. And he's had a really good opportunity, forcing a decent save from Craig Fleming. It's Sutherland 2, Carlisle 1. And elsewhere it's Paul Vale 1, not Plymouth 0. That was a 3 o'clock game. Same as this one here at Anfield. 28 minutes gone here. Still 0 0. Another Liverpool corner as they try to crank up the pressure. Another corner taker. Raheem Sterling, that's the worst of the lot. It's volleyed away easily at the near post by David Miller. Out for a throw in for Liverpool. They've had three different corner takers, Liverpool, from that far side. Yeah, they haven't. They've all been uh, in the average category for me. You know, a lot said, you know, you put that front screen up as a defensive unit, you have to beat it. The ball has to go beyond that for all those runs and all the, the work you do on the training ground to play up. Well, Gerard and Luis Alberto and Raheem Sterling have all tried their luck and haven't really put the Oldham defence under any real pressure. We have mentioned the lack of heights in forward areas for Liverpool. I suppose the lack of heights doesn't matter too much when uh, you've got Coutinho and Suarez out there. But these other players are 
inferior, I think that's a fair word. Here is uh, Wesolowski forward, uh, cut out by Aga for Liverpool squares into Colaturi. That was accomplished play by the Danish defender. And now here is Stephen Gerrard, threads it forward to Iago Aspas. Out to the far side and Sterling, and Kelly's just behind him. As we said at the start of the programme, this is a big stage for the likes of Aspas and Luis Alberto to show the Liverpool fans what they're all about against uh, opposition from a couple of divisions lower. And they should really be running the show out there. Here's Raheem Sterling to Gerrard. It remains nil-nil. Luis Alberto's got it again. He's got a little bit of space this time to run at Wesolowski. And he sends a good ball forward to Victor Moses. Chance to cross from the dead ball line. He doesn't. Gets it back to Luis Alberto. Alberto's just outside the area. 20 yards from goal. Looking for an option. Oldham have got everybody bar one back behind the ball. Raheem Sterling now. Works an angle for a pass to Kelly on the right-hand side. Under scudding clouds here at Anfield. Liverpool are building with Raheem Sterling. Burst to face. A ball into the middle. And well touched by goalkeeper Oxley. No real pressure on him there. Victor Moses had a chance to cross there first time and opted not to turn back. The last 30 seconds epitomises it for me is that balls into Oldham's box, they're making Liverpool go wide and not through them, they can deal with. You know, they, they will win the, the first ball in because Liverpool don't have a real much physical threat in there. But the slide rule ball from Alberto into Moses' feet in down the side of Oldham and through those little passion channels is more dangerous. Here's Luis Alberto Suzoko romping forward from the left back for Liverpool. Can he produce a decent ball in? Chip towards Moses, easily headed away. It was Tarkovsky with a clearance. Luis Alberto back into Aspas. Luis Alberto again, square to Gerard. Inside the Oldham half, Henderson just checks, turns, plays a simple pass to Kelly. Kelly into Sterling, right on the angle of the penalty area, works base, left footed drive over the top of the bar, into the Oldham fans. And it's still nil-nil, and that wasn't a very good strike, really, by Raheem Sterling. No, it wasn't. Liverpool worked it well to get Sterling the opportunity in and around the edge of the box. And uh, it's probably refreshing to see Sterling trying to get front-facing, facing Oldham's goal, because then you've got more options. You can have a striker goal, which wasn't the best there, but you, you, you can have a combination. You can combine with the teammates as it stands. They haven't been... They've always had their back to Oldham's goal, and they've been frustrated by Oldham's defensive block. So uh, they have to find a way, like I say... A minute or so ago, the way for me through is then passing channels through the little slide balls down the side of Oldham. Let's see if Liverpool can uh, manage another one of those before half time because uh, if it stays like this, Brendan Rodgers must be thinking of making changes at the interval. Liverpool don't want any more hiccups against Oldham in the FA Cup. Thank you very much. It's 0 0 at the moment. Raheem Sterling for Liverpool. Cutting into the Oldham half. He's about 25 yards out from goal. Picks the pass to Henderson. Sterling. Good ball to Victor Moses. Moses takes it on. Left footed drive. Battered against the defender Tarkovsky, who blocked it ever so well, but still the pressure's on. Victor Moses on the left hand side to Suzoko in support. Filtered in field to Sterling, who swapped places. Tries one of those little balls that Dean Kiley was talking about, but Wesolowski makes the block. He was right in front of him. No avenue forward there for Liverpool. So they switch it. And it's Gerard now in the centre circle to Henderson. Henderson looks, kicks it out to the near side, doesn't reach Sizoko. And Henderson slightly off his game as well today for, for Liverpool. Here's uh, Adam Rooney. Popular name, of course, at Anfield Rooney, but this is Adam. No relation to uh, the other Rooney. Well, he's related to some Rooneys, but uh, not way. The ball's on the far side. Petrasso for Oldham. Has he won them a corner? He thinks so. Yes, last touch of Polo Turi right on the dead ball line. We haven't seen much of Michael Petrasso, the Canadian, but he is pacey and he's won Oldham a corner. Yeah, Oldham haven't had much uh, forward play down the left hand side, but Petrasso there, yeah, fair play. You know, he got in there behind and uh, managed to get a corner for his side. And again, take your time, set it up. Work on the runs you've done, but the delivery is all important. You've got to put it in that danger area. Yes, they won't get too many corners. You wouldn't have thought Oldham. Brad Jones caught one earlier, and Liverpool launched a counter thrust. Let's see what Corey Smith can do from the far side. The man who was booked in the first minute of the game, the Oldham captain. It'll be an in-swing at Phyllis Kirk is right on the goal line in front of Brad Jones. So Oldham in the blue. When it's played it short, Meller drills it towards the far post, but he's overhit it. Well, perhaps they were trying to be too clever there, goal kick. They were trying to be clever, it's creative, but 
the key to it is the delivery must be there, so they were the opportunity that the fella come from deep there and put the delivery foot, so they missed everybody out, so all that good work comes to nothing. Yes, it was David Miller, old and born, who delivered a ball into the box which was uh, massively over hits and tamely behind for the goal kick which Liverpool have already taken. 34 minutes played, nil-nil, Liverpool give the ball away. Almost slipped through by Phyllis Kirk, recovered by Steven Gerrard and is played forward by Liverpool, given away. Straight to Miller and here's Petrasse to Wesolowski. Now it's Phyllis Kirk in midfield, plays it short to Corey Smith. Smith forward again for Petrasso, but Colaturi read that one and clears. Belgium have had a good couple of minutes. Jonathan Grounds has to chase back for them now and he finds his goalkeeper Oxley. Six foot three with a powerful boot on him. He clears deep into the Liverpool half, headed away by Kelly to Gerrard. Henderson, the three England internationals combining forward to Victor Moses who brings it down finds Suzoko into the penalty area takes it across towards Aspas it takes a deflection and it's going to be a corner for Liverpool on the far side and again no good Liverpool get joy with combination passes kept on the grass in and around Oldham's half slinging the ball into the box Oldham will deal with that they had a lot of joy by stringing passes together and keeping it nice and crisp and concise back to plan A with the corner taker Steven Gerrard should be reliable from that far side. That's floated in with high kick bounces all the way out to Raheem Sterling, who goes for goal, took a deflection, it's going to be another corner. It hits Phyllis Kirk on the knee. The older man was right in front of him, it's going to be a corner this time from the near side. And Luis Alberto is going to take it. The near side is the Liverpool left as they attack the Anfield Road end in the first half here. The crowd's really flying across the sky above us on this very windy afternoon on Merseyside. Very damp conditions underfoot. And we're going to see Alberto eventually taking the corner from the near side towards the near post. Headed away well by Oldham. They defended that pretty solidly. It comes all the way back now to Sissoko in the centre circle. Just one real effort of note on target from Liverpool. That Luis Alberto shot which was beaten away by the goalkeeper from in front of him. And uh, we have played 37 minutes here on Five Live Sports Extra. Liverpool nil, Oldham nil. The winners of this one will be away to Burton or Bournemouth in the fourth round of the FA Cup with the draw having been made earlier by Martin Allen and Paul Allen. I didn't see Martin Allen drawing the balls, but uh, what was he wearing today? Did you see him last night in his cardigan? He had the same one up. <laughs> or he, uh, oh, he got the Christmas or he got three. three. <laughs> Yes, so he's been trending on Twitter, Martin Allen, today, because of his uh, tie-up. Here comes Raheem Sterling for Liverpool, up to the edge of the penalty area, plays a 1-2 and doesn't quite get onto the return ball, because Mello was strongly across there, stands his ground the full back and brings it away for Oldham in front of the centenary stand on the far side, and uh, it's cleared away. Yes, Martin Allen's cardigan, right up there on Twitter this morning, you wouldn't see Noel Edmonds wearing that, would you, in the, in the 80s? No, I mean, well, unless he was presenting multicoloured swatches, I suppose, um, <laughs> that would be the only reason you would want it. But, um, yeah, that was the line, you got that. Thanks. <laughs> Gerard nudges it back to his goalkeeper, Brad Jones, and Jones is going to clear. Mellor's underneath it for Oldham. It's on the halfway line, we're still goalless here at Anfield, and here's... Corey Smith chipping it forward towards Phyllis Kirk. It's above his head, played away by Colaturi. But Petrasso's got it on the far side, the player on load from Queen's Park Rangers. And it will be an Oldham throw halfway inside the Liverpool half, taken to Corey Smith. The light's burning brightly uh, along the top of the stand over on the far side as it gets a little bit more gloomy here in Liverpool. The ball is played forward by Oldham Athletic and uh, Stephen Gerrard is guilty of a foul there. Bit of a same one, Johnson Clark Harris brought down, living his boyhood dream, he says, Johnson Clark Harris in playing a match at Anfield and he's won a free kick for Oldham. Again, they'll take their time. Again, it's about the delivery. Team. Yeah, and I think we need to uh, make the point that Johnson Clark Harris is in the front three of Oldham. That is one person and it's a striker. Yes. A man with three surnames, that's kicked in too close to the goalkeeper, they've done it again. Difficult to judge, I suppose, in these uh, 
I lost three conditions, but that was too easy for it Brad is. Jones. But, but that's a gimme. You know, Brad Jones has had a, a dolly of a catch from a corner and a, a gimme again there where it's a, it's a nice, comfortable take. And it's an opportunity that Oldham have failed to capitalise on. Still Derby nil, Chelsea nil, Sunderland two, Carlisle one. Another match is in progress at the moment earlier. Forest beat West Ham 5-0. Uh, a West Ham reserve team, we should emphasise. Same scoreline as the Ashes series. So no test match special tonight on <laughs> Five Live Sports Expert. It's now Port Vale 2, Plymouth 0. Stoke already through from the Potteries. They'll be away to Derby or Chelsea in the fourth round, by the way. Here's a great run down the near side by the man with all those names. Johnson, Clark, Harris in towards the dead ball line. Has he won a corner? No, the last touch was off him. He knew it. Jordan Henderson was going with him stride for stride and forced the error and forces a goal kick for Liverpool. And credit to Clark Harris there. Once he isolated Henderson, it was a foot race, a 1v1 down the line, and uh, he won it. And it was... It, you know, real good attitude, real positive play for him to go and drive down there. It was actually quite unlucky though. Drove into the box, quite close to the byline, and uh, his touch took it over. Yeah, the deflection went against him in the end. So in front of the cop, the ball will be planted on the floor by Brad Jones, and will disappear into the distance off his left foot, out to the far side. Sterling with a, a deft touch. He finds Kelly. Kelly, good ball to infield to Gerard, and a spot of pressure and then Kelly finds Henderson and Henderson to Raheem Sterling down the far side, low into the middle, doesn't reach Moses, too close to goalkeeper Oxley, best move of the match there from Liverpool but not quite the final ball into the box there from Sterling and again Chris, concise passing, there they just took their time, two or three passes, a passing channel opened up in between the uh, full back and the centre half of Oldham and it slid in there for Sterling to get in behind and I think that's the important word behind Oldham's defensive block uh, it was good play by Kelly in particular, and here he slots another ball forward, has fast turns, plays it into the penalty area, again it's over hit, Pukowski has to be careful on his own goal line, and he does well actually to clear up towards the halfway line, and Liverpool have got it back, and here is Aga, who comes forward, Suzuko is wide of him, right in front of his manager, standing in the technical area, the wind whipping up his coattails, Brendan Rodgers, Floated beautifully out to the far side to Graham Sterling, attacking the defenders on the edge of the penalty area. Henderson, back to Sterling, tried to take it first time on the half volley. It's over the top of the bar, but it was a good idea and a good move. Yeah, well, it took sort of 40 minutes or so for Liverpool to... They broke it up. ...for it to click, and, you know, they found a way to open Oldham up slightly, so uh, maybe uh, food for thought for the second half of them. Well, they have woken up a bit here, Liverpool, but no doubt that uh, Lee Johnson will be the happier of the two managers just at the moment. The deadlock has been broken. Derby against Chelsea. Phil Y reporting. Unlikely goal scorer for Chelsea, John Obi McKell, only his second of the season, glancing in from an excellent delivery from William, a free kick. The Cavalry have come on, you know, just to get Chelsea over the line here, you, you fancy. Hazard come on for Essien and Torres for Essu. Jesse Mourinho didn't want to replay, and now Chelsea really are on top, just as Derby were hoping to score themselves back into this game. Derby nil, Chelsea won after 68 minutes. Thanks, Phil. So into the final 20 minutes, more or less in that one over there on the Five Live, here on the sister station, Five Live Sports Extra. We have Liverpool against Oldham, not the drama of last season's fixture yet, but still nil-nil. And Oldham worth that nil-nil scoreline. They've defended well, but not been afraid to push forward when they've got the ball. And they've had the ball more often than Brendan Rodgers would have wanted coming into this game. And uh, it's given away again by Aga. Try to place it from the back, from uh, Liverpool, and it's cleared away by Oldham to the near side. Lovely touch by Adam Rooney. Rooney tries to take on Aga, and it runs off the foot of the Danish defender for another Oldham corner. Well, they floated one straight into the gloves of the keeper. They find a clever one to the end of the box. I wonder what's in the repertoire for their third corner. Yeah, well, I think the, the theme will be don't put it in the goalkeeper's hands because it is an opportunity. Mallow, it is. Shaven skull, the figure. Very powerfully built fullback. He comes over to take it from the near side for Oldham. They've got one man in the six yard box, Phyllis Kirk, and the rest of their players are about to run in late. In it comes, towards the far post, cleared away by Henderson on the volley. That was a much better corner into a very dangerous zone, and Henderson had to prod it away. And Liverpool now can break with Suzoko. Suzoko to Henderson, who's beyond the halfway line. 
Over on the right, Kelly makes an overlapping run. He's ignored for the time being. It's played in field instead to Raheem Sterling. Now it's Gerard. And there's plenty of space in the centre circle for Colatore. Out to Suzoko. Final minute of the first half. Well, watch out for the fourth official in a moment. Oldham will be desperate to hang on. That was a better corner from the there, Dean. It was, caused the problem, yeah. No, it was. So, 8 9 foot in the air, whizzed across the 6 yard box, always causes problems for defenders. Nobody quite attacking it. Here's Lewis Alberto. Fast, fast at the other end with a cross shot right across the face of the goal. Oxley, the goalkeeper, didn't get a touch. It's out for a goal kick, but there's that ball you were talking about again, Dean. And this time it was Alberto to Aspas, and that was more like it. The angle, though, beat him really with the Yeah, it did. It's just slightly wide, but, you know, credit to me. He had an third goal, and he took a chance. And, like I say, for me, the interesting thing is Alberto's ball in. You know, it's not a hopeful one into the, the heart of the Oldham defence. It's really incisive and low, and it really it penetrates Oldham's back line. One minute was added on. We heard it booming as over the public address there. And the fourth official has indicated the same. So, 30 seconds left in the first half here on Five Live Sports Extra. He has set a spear from a long way out for Oldham, their best crack of the game. It thunders just wide of the goalkeeper's left-hand post, probably three yards wide in the end, but just for a moment, an intake of breath amongst those on the cop. And rightly so, because the ball fell to him, a long clearance from Oxley from a goal kick, flicked on by Clark Harris. And Philisco found himself with a with a, with an opportunity to shoot and a window to shoot and uh, and took it and it wasn't wasn't too far away. So still nil nil. There is the half time whistle from our referee Stuart Atwell. Now Brendan Rogers has some big names on the bench. One perhaps the biggest of all, Luis Suarez. At what point does he think he has to bring him on now or 15 minutes into the second half? I think he'll give him 15 minutes or so. But I think you'd have to say that if Suarez or Coutinho finds himself on the pitch, then that's a symptom of maybe how Liverpool have, have played and their, uh, their lack of thrust. Because I'm sure Brendan Rodgers would have been hoping for a, an easy, safe passage through this without having to, any of them players to, uh, to get onto the grass this afternoon. It's kind of points to the fact that this Liverpool side as it is is failing on its mission at the moment. Yeah, I think that's I think that's right. I think Oldham will be pleased, like you say. I think they've settled defensively. They've been hard to break down and hard to open up. And um, it's the onus is on Liverpool to do that. You know, they've been frustrated at times. The crowd have been frustrated. So it's um, it's a job well done at the moment for Oldham. But certainly Liverpool have a few more gears to go to. Uh, Steen Kiley, the man with many jobs, summarising the first half here. He'll be back for our second half commentary here on Five Live Sports Extra. Half-time Liverpool nil, Oldham nil. Steen Kiley is back alongside me here at Anfield. Liverpool trooping back out. Oldham were out quite early and uh, obviously fancying that they can make even more of an impact in the second half. They'll be very happy with how things have gone when the stats are showing that they had 54% of the ball in the first half. Yeah, I think it's a job well done for them at the moment. It's, um, they've done well, they've now regrouped and they'll come out. It'll be more of the same, really, because uh, I have to say as well, a symptom has been that when they've, when they've got to break forward, they've had uh, Clark Harris and Phyllis Girk and players like that. They've not been fired to have a go and isolate them at all, so... Uh, no, it's been few and far between opportunities in that respect, but lots of discipline as a defensive unit, and it uh, be interesting to see this first 10 minutes here, 10, 15 minutes, because then it makes it a little bit edgy, and then also I think Brendan Rodgers has some uh, decisions to make regarding substitutions. Well, he's made one right now. Luis Alberto has been taken off, the former Barcelona B midfielder who cost £6.8 million. Pounds. Uh, didn't have a very good game, actually, first 45 minutes, and he's been replaced uh, not by... Uh, Suarez, it is Lucas, the Brazilian, who has come on to play, it looks like, just behind Gerard and Henderson. Maybe we'll see them pushing further forward, particularly Gerard. I think that's exactly right, yeah. Lucas will anchor it all in behind and uh, give Gerard and uh, maybe Henderson a little bit more license to go and join. And as you hinted, it might be 15 minutes before we see Suarez, and we might not see him at all if Liverpool can score in the early stages of this second half. They are playing towards the cop in the second period, so that's left to right, and uh, Oldham are playing towards their own supporters as well. 6,000 of them have sold every single seat in the lower tier of the Anfield Road End here at this famous ground. Oldham bidding to repeat last season's 
great adventure when of course they knocked out Liverpool and then took Everton to a replay in the next round. Two years ago they were beaten here at Anfield 5-1 after taking the lead. So uh, five goals and six goals in the two previous meetings of these two clubs. Nothing so far here. But it's Sizoko down the far side for Liverpool, right at the start of the second half. Plays it in short to Aspas. He tries to deliver across. It takes a deflection and loops away for an early corner in the second half for Liverpool. Let's see how they've been energised by Brendan Rodgers during the 15-minute break. We're going to see Steven Gerrard taking this corner from the far side. Aga up from the back. Colature up from the back. Lucas is in there too. Henderson's quite tall. So Gerard will curl it in, too close to the goalkeeper, punched away by Oxley, decent distance on it and cleared away in the end by Oldham. It's Rooney skying one into the stand on the far side. Almost goes down the stairs through the exit, but it bounces back and it's going to be a throw in for Liverpool. Yeah, well it's a nice early touch from Mark Oxley, nice and positive goalkeeping, real big punch on the ball and uh, you know, playing, playing the, uh, in front of the cop there, they always uh, give the opposition goalkeepers a, a little ripple, a little round of applause, so uh, he'll, be, he'll be pleased with that. Yep, big moment for him. He's on loan from Hull. They've got a couple of decent goalkeepers at Hull in McGregor and Harper. Oxley, they see as one for the future, but he's getting game time here with Oldham. And on a big stage at the moment, 0-0 nil -nil the score. Lucas involved for the first time, finds Coutinho. Didn't see him come on, actually. But he's out there, and the ball is with uh, Sterling, near side now for Liverpool, taking on the defender, going on the outside, and if he won a corner, he has, the ball just trickles away behind for the corner, so uh, Coutinho is on in place of Victor Moses, that was the other change made by Brendan Rodgers at half-time, so he's brought on two Brazilians to change the nature of the game, it's Coutinho with the corner towards the near post, headed across, scrambled away as far as Colaturi, shot from Lucas, is blocked as well, and then a long range effort from Martin Kelly, takes a deflection, and it's going to be another corner, and Liverpool look as though they've been business right at the start of the second half, as Oldham have a man down injured in their own penalty area, which will slightly delay the taking of this corner, so the referee is happy that Jonathan Browns is OK, he's back up on his feet, and taking up his position to defend his corner. So, Coutinho is on, and he will take it right-footed from the near side. A bit of an outswinger, headed away by Kasunga at the back there for Holden Athletic, and they just about survive. So, only one option left in terms of the substitution for Brendan Rodgers. I wonder who he might have in mind for later on. Well, they all depending on the scoreline. Yeah, well, here's Gerard trying to tap it forward, but it doesn't penetrate the Oldham defence. Grounds is there, and now here is Tarkovsky. Oldham didn't make any changes at half-time. No need for Lee Johnson to interfere with things, because his League One strugglers are holding firm here at Anfield. It is nil-nil, and we're four minutes into the second half. And the ball is broken for Oldham and Petrasso on this near side. Inside the Liverpool half, he's making a run down the side of the penalty area. Too many defenders around him, though and Martin Kelly is able in the end to just watch the ball run behind for a goal kick for Liverpool, nil-nil, being nil. tidy. Lee Johnson's dilemma regarding substitution will be the, the shape and the, the defensive shift that they've put in. They may be run out of steam and a couple of legs will go, so that'll be important when he brings on fresh legs and energy for, uh, for Oldham to sustain the, uh, their performance. He's got one of his front liners, James Dayton, on the bench. He's had quite a few injuries recently and a couple of players just signed this week on loan. Lockwood and Harkins there on the bench and there's somebody called Anson Rogers as well on the bench sentiment can't play a part can it he won't bring on Anton just because he's Brendan's son surely would you? no no I wouldn't no, I totally, totally totally agree with you it's, 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 you always think actually you know our things scripted you know to or fated to uh, to happen but uh, no in the cold light of day no there's, there's no sentiment involved absolutely here's Gerard. Out to the near side, he finds Martin Kelly right in front of us as the wind blows around Anfield. Back to Stephen Gerrard. Gerrard to Sterling. Sterling down the right-hand side of the penalty area. Two defenders around him, tries to get beyond them. He does! Whizzes in across, cleared away by Wesolowski, who did well there to aid his defenders. And he just hacks it out for a throw-in again for Liverpool. In front of this main stand, Stephen Gerrard is going to leave it. To Kelly. 
player who has had all kinds of injury problems or might have featured more prominently for Liverpool over the last 18 months or so. Here's Aspas into the penalty area, too strong, not sure what he was trying to do, and it suited the goalkeeper Oxley. Well, that was a, a nice bit of play there. Gerard fits the ball into Henderson in the, in the central area, about five or six yards outside the 18-yard box, into Aspas around the corner, but just the detail on the pass was lacking. Well, Victor Moses and Luis Alberto both taken off, removed from the fray by Brendan Rodgers at half-time, and they won't have done their long-term prospects with Liverpool much good with the performances they put in in the first half of the game. Here is Colaturi clearing for Liverpool. It's a bit of a messy one, but he finds Sterling, and now Gerrard. First time ball, it's a big one towards Coutinho. The bounce brings it though, and Kasunga, the full-back, will whack it away for Oldham in the blue and white. It bounces through again to Colaturi, who's just outside his own penalty area. The man from the Ivory Coast in the black gloves finds Lucas. And now it's Gerard back to Lucas. Gerard again, nil nil still the score here on Five Live Sports Extra. Chelsea heading for a place in the fourth round, leading 2-0 at Derby. Sunderland and Nottingham Forest already through with wins earlier on today. Here is Henderson to Gerard for Liverpool, 40 yards out from the Oldham goal. Slide to Nick Paul to Sterling. Sterling with a step over. Kelly's overlapping, runs round the, the cross and wins a corner as the tackle is made. It wasn't the best of passes to Kelly. He did well to get a corner out of it. Yeah, he did. I mean, it's, um, it's also noticeable that um, Petrasso doubling up and helping his ball back out, going back there, making it 2v2 and difficult for Liverpool, for Liverpool to break down. So, Oldham really working really, really hard. So, Coutinho with a corner. Headed just over the top of the bar by Steven Gerrard, who came steaming onto that at pace. Met it forcefully with his forehead and it flashes just over the top of the bar. Well, I think we can safely say that Coutinho's corner delivery is probably the best of all the Liverpool players that have taken corners this afternoon, and it allowed Gerrard to make that dart and run across the, the front of Oldham's goal and just glance the header just over the bar. Do you think he should have scored? Um, it's a great run, great ball, and uh, yeah, I think I thought he met it well. It wasn't really well above him, so uh, yeah, he got good purchase on the ball, and uh, yeah, should have made the centre goal. Yeah, just too high there from Steven Gerrard. Big burst forward to meet the corner, but not quite the finish on the end of it. And he hasn't scored yet this season from open play, Stephen Gerrard. Three goals, two penalties, and one was a free kick from outside the box against Hull. Certainly hasn't scored with his head this season. Nil-nil here. The ball is headed away by Tarkovsky for Oldham Athletic. And it bounces out for a further throw in for Oldham on the far side. Pasunga comes forward to take it. The uh, Swiss player looks for support. It's there from Danny Philiskirk, son of Tony Philiskirk, who's on the staff at uh, Boundary Park. A club from the edge of the Pennines holding their own here and earning possession inside the Liverpool half. Good ball forward by Clark Harris, just cut out though. In the nick of time by Collar Ture, and Raheem Sterling can start a run from deep outside of the boot. To the near side, he finds Aspas, infield to Steven Gerrard. Gerrard comes forward, facing towards goal, picks the pass out to Kelly. In fact, Aspas takes up the running, plays it in short. Gerrard edge of the area, in towards Henderson, doesn't quite drop for him, and Wesolowski's there again to help out his defence. He's almost dropping in there as an extra centre-back when needed, Wesolowski. James Wesolowski, the man wearing the mask, as we discussed in the first half because of his fractured cheekbone. Coutinho into Aspas on the edge of the area. Back to Gerard, doesn't shoot, doesn't drop for him to shoot. Finds Sterling inside the penalty area. Wide position, though. Ditched his shoulder, tips it over towards the far post. Here's a chance, and it's there! By Argo, Aspas scores his first goal for Liverpool. On the volley, a crisp finish with his right foot. The on goalkeeper, Mark Oxley. And finally, Liverpool have the breakthrough against League One Oldham. And maybe we won't have a repeat of last season's upset. It's Liverpool 1, Oldham 0. Well, that will settle things down here at Anfield this afternoon because we're looking a little bit precarious for Liverpool, but they, they were probing and passing there in his first 10 minutes of the second half. Raheem Sterling gets the ball at his feet inside the box, runs up his, the, uh, the defender, has a little wriggle, gets away from him, thinks a little cross him, one bow task, but sends it goalwards on the volley, decent finish. Did well to keep that down, actually, because took one bounce, hops up, was round about hip high for him, kept it down, good control of that volley and uh, puts Liverpool 1-0 up. 
So, Aspas has his first ever goal for Liverpool, and he showed there what he's capable of. The ball was slightly behind him as well, wasn't it? And he, he struck it down into the ground and beyond goalkeeper Oxley from just outside the six-yard box after a decent ball across from Raheem Sterling. So maybe we won't need Suarez. Here is uh, Phyllis Gert now for Oldham, long-range effort, straight at Brad Jones in the Liverpool goal. So Liverpool have the breakthrough, it's Liverpool 1, Oldham 0. I think it's finished now at Derby, Chelsea playing there of course, Phil White. It has finished here, Derby 0, Chelsea 2, Chelsea will host Stoke in the fourth round. The goals took a while to come here this afternoon, but the introduction of Torres and Hazard just peppered them up a little bit. Mikel scored after 66 minutes, his second of the season, glancing in, and then Oscar scored five or six minutes later, three kicks straight to the goalkeeper, really. Derby were bright, purposeful, not really in Chelsea's league, literally. Ramirez, though, booked for simulation. That's the second Chelsea player in two games to get booked for a dive, so we'll talk to Jose Mourinho about that shortly. But it's Chelsea that go through fairly comfortably. Derby nil, Chelsea two. Thanks, Phil. Reaction to that, of course, over on the Five Live, where Manchester United against Swansea kicks off at half past four. Full commentary on that one as well. Here, Liverpool finally do lead against League One Oldham by one goal to nil. Aspas, the goal scorer. The ball is with Sterling, found by Gerrard. Into the penalty area, he goes again. Good turn by Sterling. Can he deliver another cross? He can. Decent Aspas is time in the air. Oh, he hits the post. It bounces out to Coutinho. It's still in play. Coutinho denied by the goalkeeper's legs. And Coutinho plays it back out to Lucas, who shoots from 25 yards. That's blocked by the man right in front of him. And Aspas very nearly scored his second goal, glancing the header against the post. Hold him under siege now. Sterling down the near side. Tries to get beyond two defenders. It's off the knee of Meller. It's going to be a throw in for Liverpool. Well, that's why we love this game so much. The complexion has just changed. That goal changed the game. Sterling now the outlet. They want to get in the ball as much as possible. Isolate Meller, the pullback, and... He is the route and the supply route for uh, and Aspas got a header in there and hit the post, so Oldham, this is going to be a difficult five minutes, really important they stay in this. Kelly with a low call in, comes against Henderson, who doesn't know anything about it, cleared by Oldham. wazelowski has got possession for them now and finds Petrasso back to Wesolowski. And now it's Mella, needs to hurry the clearance, doesn't want to lose it there in the full-back position. He's done well in the end of left-back and plays it forward aimlessly, but at least it's back in the Liverpool half. But here come the Reds again. The goal off the 55 minutes scored by the man signed from Celta Vigo for seven and a half million pounds. Iago Aspas on target. Slight figure. Took it well. In the style of Suarez almost. Well, that's very good for that phrase indeed, absolutely. Oh! Here's Sterling into the penalty area, through on the goalkeeper, what's the finish like? Oh, he's taken it too far, and then it's placed over the bar by Coutinho. Oh, Sterling didn't want to shoot, he went sideways and sideways. Eventually it came to Coutinho, who had certainly nothing like as easy a chance, and he places it over the bar. Well, these wide players like Sterling, like Moses, you know, they, they excite the crowd with their little jinky runs and getting up, but I have to say, an incisive pass in, in between the, uh, the fullback and the, and the centre half. Sterling drives first down on goal. Has to shoot for me. Has to shoot. He had, he had no other option in my mind, is that just to put your laces through that ball and send it goalwards. If the goalkeeper makes a save, all well and good. But where's the goalkeeper? Well, he's missed a couple recently in that kind of position. Maybe that was playing on his mind. Surely he should have. Well, he should have scored. The ball is played in by Oldham and claimed by Brad Jones in his six-yard box. Liverpool sleeping just for a moment. They're very much in the ascendancy, leading by a goal to nil, but almost caught out. Here is Henderson down the near side for Liverpool. In towards Aspas, who runs over the ball. Gerard was reading it, but a defender stepped in between, and it's brought away now by the older man, Tarkovsky. He's still got it. Romping inside the Liverpool half, finds Petrasso, the little man, coming forward. Plays it to Finisker, back to Smith. Oldham's first bout of possession, really, inside the Liverpool half in the second half of the game. It comes to Wazalowski making a run forward. Phyllis Kirk with a shot, oh, just over the top of the bar from 25 yards. And we have a response from Oldham. Yeah, we have, and we were thinking there that now the next five or ten minutes would be for Oldham to stay in the game. But actually, we've had a two half chances there because earlier Clark Harris had put in from Liverpool's left, put a, put a sort of cross shot in there, and Phyllis Kirk must have only been a yard or so off the end of that. And then also Phyllis Kirk in that number ten position found himself with an opportunity to strike, and that's a decent strike, only just over the bar for Oldham. 
Oldham are going to make a double substitution. James Dayton, I spoke of him earlier. He's one of their, their better players. He's been out recently with an injury. Former Kilmarnock man, who was at the Glen Hoddle Academy for a while. He is coming on. And the other player coming on is Gary Harkins, who was signed only a couple of days ago on loan from St. Mirren. 29-year-old midfielder. Dayton normally plays wide. So off go Clark Harris and Rooney, the two forward orientated players going off. So a bit of a, a reshuffle here. Uh, Wesolowski's moved right up front. I think that's just as uh, make Brad Jones play the goal kick. Yeah, yeah. So we have Hartins on. Wearing number 30. Liverpool attacking on the near side. Iago Aspas, the man who got the goal, has another opportunity but strikes this one wide of the near post. Slithers behind for a goal kick. So Phyllis Kirk, I think, has gone up top for Oldham. And uh, Harkins is going to play in behind him. He's a big guy, is uh, Gary Harkins. And. He's a long way away and he still looks big he does, from, this, yeah. from, this, uh, from this distance. He's towering over Lucas there as the board is cleared by Oxley, the goalkeeper for Oldham, deep into the Liverpool half. Lucas gets his head to it. Colaturi has to hurry to swipe it clear up to the halfway line. Raheem Sterling was surely pushed in the back by Miller. The referee, Mr Ratwell, doesn't see it and it's still with Oldham. Wesolowski's gone back into that uh, defensive midfield role again. Here is Miller. Miller infield to Smith and Smith... The captain turns it back into his own half and Jonathan Browns. And Oldham not short of confidence since conceding that goal and almost conceding a second. Maybe they see it as a bit of a lucky escape that the second effort from Aspas went off the post. Because at 2-0 they would have been out of the cup, no doubt about that. But it's still 1-0 Liverpool. 17 minutes played in the second half on five live sports extra. And it's Gerrard for the home team. He started the game, Stephen Gerrard. Having played 28 minutes as a substitute the other day, New Year's Day against Hull, and Gerrard's got it again. Plays it short to Coutinho. He's made a, a big difference since coming on, and Gerrard playing further forward too has allowed Liverpool to get right on the front foot for most of this second half. And Sterling's seen a lot of the ball. He's got it again on the right-hand side. Has to swivel, gets it back to Martin Kelly. Now it's Coutinho, the little man to Gerrard. Pocket of space out of the area. Shot is blocked. Good block by Tarkovsky, and Oldham do get it away. Not very far away, though. And Politeri opts to send it all the way back to his goalkeeper, Brad Jones. So Dayton is on as the other substitute for Oldham. He's playing wide in midfield on this near side there, left, wearing number 19. So there's only one substitution available now for Oldham, and Anton Rogers is still on the bench. Here's Sterling now, down the side of the penalty area, back to Henderson, flips it across, heading clear by Oldham out to the near side. Sterling keeps it in play. He's got Henderson available, or Kelly finds Henderson five yards outside the box to Gerard. Gerard chinking forward, the tackle from Wesolowski, breaks over Aspas, out to Kelly. Kelly first time ball beyond the far post, that's going to be a goal kick. So still 1-0 to Liverpool, we can see the clock ticking down on the scoreboard over on the far side red lettering on a black background it says Liverpool 1 Oldham 0 and we played for 64 minutes and uh, Oldham are still in the cup tie Dean Kyle. Yeah they are and um, yeah, the, the substitutions like you were talking about Petrasso has gone over to Oldham's right midfield and Dayton's out on the left and uh, Harkin's gone up top with Phyllis Kirk and it's just there uh, mentioning Harkins. Obviously, you know, he spoke about his physical presence and he was just telling his teammates to get the ball forward, get it into me, you know, let's play with a purpose and be a bit a bit more effective possibly, you know, to try and get back into this tie. Well, it's the first time the Oldham player uh, supporters would have seen their new player, Gary Harkins. Here's Wesolowski in the field, run off the ball by Aspas and it'll fall for Martin Kelly, right in front of his manager. He's almost lost it for Liverpool, but he smuggled it infield in the end to Lucas and Gerard dropped deep to the halfway line just to keep the move going he finds Coutinho who was magical here against Hull those four days ago on New Year's Day and should have scored right at the end in Liverpool's 2-0 win Liverpool of course fourth in the Premier League at the moment and going to Stoke next Saturday that's their next match in the Premier League all the coverage of course on 5 Live 
on Five Live this evening, by the way. Another opportunity to hear our excellent programme, the day we won at Wimbledon, and the Murray's great success. Narration by John Hurt, that's at uh, 9 o'clock tonight over on Five Live. And don't forget the Australian Open tennis will be starting very shortly. Lots of commentary on Five Live Sports Extra between the 13th and the 26th of this month. And the Winter Olympics are coming up soon as well, Dean. It's uh, all very exciting, isn't it? Yeah, certainly lots of, uh, lots of sport <laughs> we're not getting deep into, certainly. Here's Harkins, he's been fouled and he's won a free kick for Oldham. Inside the Liverpool half. Oh, forgot to congratulate you on your other new job, which is T-Boy. It's very nice, thank you. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, I like to be, uh, well, like at West Brom. I like, if I was given the job, I like to do it well. <laughs> It would have been better in a more insulated cup. It's gone a little bit cool. Well, it's just a tip for next time. <laughs> and next time, I'll take it on board. You know, we're always learning. Thanks, Dean. And Steve Kiley with us, goalkeeping coach at West Brom. Amongst uh, all kinds of other interim, temporary caretaker jobs he's doing there at the moment. West Brom results certainly picking up in the league. By, by caretaker, you don't mean like wearing a brown coat and sweeping well, up and, and knocking you by what you've been telling me, I wouldn't put that past you. Free kick to be taken by Dayton into the penalty area for Oldham, who is overstruck that one, and it's way behind for the goal kick. The Oldham supporters were very expectant awaiting that free kick into the Liverpool box, but it came to nothing. I think in the main that, that set piece delivery has been disappointing, Oldham. I really thought that, you know, that, that opportunity comes along for a set piece, and it's a, you know, you, could, you can play it how you want to play it, and uh, the delivery has been poor. Well, it's 1 0 to Liverpool. And when it's 1-0, you don't know. Here's Corey Smith for Oldham. Back to Jonathan Grounds, who's been pretty firm at the back. Forward to Dayton. Dayton will be fouled on the halfway line. The referee sees nothing wrong. Oldham prod it forward deep into the Liverpool half, but Colo Toure recovers, retreats, and finds his goalkeeper Jones, who clears. Straight to Grounds, though, who tests it down under no pressure. Hence the groans from the Liverpool supporters. It's still with Oldham. Dayton to the near side and Miller back to James Dayton. Dayton plays a dangerous ball across his own half, almost fell for Stephen Gerrard, but it worked out okay. And now it's forward to Harkins. Harkins onto Smith in a forward position. 25 yards out, plays it across the penalty area. Dennis Kirk heads it across towards Harkins. Was he pushed in the back? It comes out to Petrasso, cleared away by Lucas, who got there ahead of Petrasso. Still it's on the edge of the penalty area. Kasunga with a shot, that's blocked. It comes to Smith. And now it's Harkins on the edge of the Liverpool box to Dayton. Dayton just inside the Liverpool penalty area. Chips it across, headed away by Colatoure. Holden felt they should have had a penalty in that melee, but they're still coming forward. Corey Smith to Harkins on the edge of the penalty area, where the Lofsky launches one goalwards and gets it all wrong. It's behind for a goal kick. Well, certainly there was a, a decent shout for a penalty in there as Oldham put all kinds of pressure on the Liverpool defence. Yeah, well, as that ball came in, I, I really did think that Phillips Cook did have a push. Fred Jones came and dealt with it with a punch, but um, certainly put his body on Phillips Cook and made it really, really difficult for him. But um, very, very difficult, I suppose, as an, an, an away team to come to Anfield. That I, I'd imagine it would have to be really, really clear cut for it to be, uh, for it to be given. All eyes on the referee, Stuart Atwell, he's on moves. It tells Brad Jones to get a move on with a goal kick. So uh, a Liverpool wasting a bit of time with a 1-0 lead against the League One team. That would be a compliment to Oldham. Here is Henderson winning the ball for Liverpool. Jordan Henderson with a shot, which is well over the top of the bar. But we've seen that shot from Phyllis Kirk just wide. We've seen Liverpool not clearing their lines very comfortably on a couple of occasions. A bit of a scramble in there, a shout for a penalty. The cup tie is alive. Yeah, no, I, think, that. I think after Aspas's goal and then hitting the uh, hitting the post with a header, I think we both probably feared for Oldham that maybe they their bubble had burst and it they, they'd run out of steam a little bit. But um, certainly not. I think there's sort of 10 or 12, 12 minutes thereafter, they've been in and created the, their best opportunities in the uh, in the match. Yes, they're still in good voice, though, Oldham supporters, even though their team are training Liverpool here by one goal to nil. Here's Meller up to the near side for Oldham, infield to Harkins. He's made a difference, and then Meller's pass, well, disappoints himself. He looks away in anguish as it goes straight to a red shirt, and Liverpool mop up with the ball into the 
opposition half. But that's quite easy for Lord Tarkowski to come forward. He's making a long gliding run from the back to the edge of the penalty area. It was James Tarkowski going all the way forward before eventually being dispossessed. And here is Aspas leading the charge for Liverpool on the counter attack. Lovely ball to Raheem Sterling. Wide angle though. He can't shoot from there. He needs to tap it back. Gerard side netting. He claims the corner. He points to the corner flag. He's not going to get it. It's a goal kick. Well, Mella makes a run from left back. Gets dispossessed in the middle of the park and is out of position. Tarkowski compounds that by going on his own Maisie run at the centre half and then all of a sudden two passes later they're running back 70 yards back towards their own goal but it is it a symptom of the scoreline it's 1-0 and they're trying to make things happen and if so then credit to them but you know it will make the game open and, and create chances for Liverpool I feel they're giving it a go you've got to say that here's uh, Phyllis Kirk old and athletic absolutely right in this game they're risking a few things of course they're risking that second goal for Liverpool as Steve was just saying there with a, a couple of the defenders pushing forward, but why not? It's the cup at Anfield, no less. Oh, uh, totally. You want to come up? Don't, you know, you come off this pitch. You, you don't want to think that you uh, you haven't given it your all, or that there was any uh, you wish you'd have done anything different. Yeah, absolutely. Give it everything you've got and leave it leave it all out there on the ground. Yeah, hold on. Don't want to lose one nil and think actually, you know, we we could have done a little bit better there. But here's Harkins for Oldham, testing the ball down inside the Liverpool half. Wozolowski to Mella, out to the bearded figure of James Dayton on this near touchline. They run into trouble, but Dayton wins it back. And here's Grounds. And Liverpool are far from home and hose yet in this FA Cup third round tie. Leading by a goal to nil, long ball forward by Oldham over hit. All the way through to goalkeeper Brad Jones, who would certainly love a clean sheet here after... What happened to him that bleak day at Boundary Park last January? That was in the fourth round of the Cup when Oldham won by three goals to two, knocking out Brendan Rodgers in Liverpool. The lowest point of the Brendan Rodgers reign so far, he admits that himself. And they're looking to make amends here. A lot of people were predicting a 3 4 5 0 scoreline. Could yet happen, I suppose, but. Uh, Oldham can be very proud, again, of their performance against Liverpool in the Cup, with only a handful of players in the squad who were still at the club last season. And they beat Liverpool last year when Liverpool started with Suarez, it must be said. Yeah, that's a fair point. Mellor, near side for Oldham, gets beyond Sterling just about, sends him off. Lee Johnson, the manager, very animated as uh, Oldham builds. It's Miller, big lump he is, finds Sir Smith. Sit as well though, lovely turn for Trasso, edge of the penalty area, oh great save by Brad Jones! He stretched out on left palm and kept it out, or else that was a nailed on equaliser for Oldham Athletic. After wonderful skill by Michael Petrasso on the edge of the area, Jones makes a great save, ball from Dean on that at the moment because it's still Oldham in possession. They're making a tremendous fist of this at the moment. All credit to them. Here is ground forward to Wadolowski, to Kasunda, who's all the way up there. They are committing men forward. They've only got three back against four for Liverpool at the moment. And here is Grounds. He steadies the ship. Great save, Brad Jones. It was. He stood his ground and it had to be a decent save. And with all the uh, millions of pounds of talent uh, on show, it's actually for Trush, who came off the line on his right-hand side. Received the ball in the middle of the pack, and that turn to get front facing and, and you know, facing the goal, and then get that strike up was incredible. Great bit of skill. There's going to be another goal, one way or the other. Here's Lucas Lever forward for Liverpool. It's not a good pass. It's intercepted and uh, carried away by uh, Tarkowski. He looks to come running forward. The centre back. He's still going. Tarkowski inside the Liverpool half. Uh, defenders around him, and still they come for the referee's blown a whistle that gives Liverpool a free kick when Oldham were in a very promising position. And uh, there's a lot of disgruntlement around the grounds. Uh, Liverpool fans not happy that their team haven't put the game to bed. Oldham fans frustrated that they haven't equalised and that that free kick was given against them. Yeah, if ever we were thinking about what uh, Oldham's attitude about getting back in this game, well, uh, Darkowski has, has certainly shown the way because from centre-half he's made two really penetrating runs into the, uh, the heart of the Liverpool defence. And actually, I thought he was a little lucky there to uh, 
that the free kick be given against him because all he did is try to repair it and, uh, and get there and I thought he just slid in and, and made contact with the ball. Yes, they were a bit unlucky, but uh, Tarkowski is obviously a, a centre-back with some ball skills who can carry it out from the back. James Tarkowski, just 21, um, a product of the academy at Oldham, which has brought through a few very good young players. Here is Mella forward to Smith, who lets it run through his legs to Finis Kirk. They're looking like the Premier League team at the moment. Here comes Patrasso. Patrasso running at Suzuko into the penalty area. Low ball. Did it take a deflection? No, it did, and it's going to be a goal kick. And it looks as though Liverpool are going to bring on their number seven. So if I'm not mistaken, is Luis Suarez. So he is being introduced. And it's Steven Gerrard who is coming off. So the captain's armband will probably go to Daniel Aga. And it's a compliment to Oldham Athletic that Brendan Rodgers has decided he needs Suarez on the pitch to try and finish off the League One team. Raheem Sterling thought he was coming off. Sterling had given up on the game. He was congratulating Suarez on coming on. Um, Raheem Sterling, <laughs> that's not good body language. Wanting to come off when it wasn't him. I was going to say, I'm, I'm no body language expert. <laughs> Actually looking pleased that he was going to pull up was, uh, and I'm not too sure about that one. We've given the benefit of the doubt that maybe he didn't see the board, but um, he's now creeped back onto the pitch and uh, I would have sure, I'm sure uh, Mella at left back would have been pleased to see Sterling leave the pitch. <laughs> well, Suarez has got the ball on the far side, running towards the corner flag, the Sunder tackles him, it's gone out for a throw in. Sterling had mentally given up on the game. <laughs> He was, he was doing the little touch of the, the hands, wasn't he, with Suarez, who he thought was coming on for him. How he mistook a number eight for a number 31 is uh, anybody's business. Thankfully, the fourth official told him that he, it wasn't his number. So he's had to stay on. They want to keep his scores now. 13 minutes left, 1-0 to Liverpool. Suarez on. Gerard off. Coutinho playing a little bit deeper. He is sterling in field to Suarez. Henderson. He's on 20 goals for the season, Luis Suarez. And, uh, well, the Oldham players can now say they played against Luis Suarez. And, uh, as you said at the start, his shirt might be up for grabs at I the think, end of the game. I think it'll be form an orderly queue or, uh, I don't know, have an arm wrestle or something to see who gets it. <laughs> because they're not, I they'll be queuing up for that one. But here is Suarez. Can they keep him quiet? Forward towards... Uh, Aspas, a tangle of bodies just outside the Oldham penalty area. Aspas wins it back. He finds Coutinho. Aspas, the goal scorer. Liverpool leading by one goal to nil. If you're fresh to the commentary here on Five Live Sports Extra, Aspas scoring after 55 minutes. We have 12 minutes left, and that's the only goal. Liverpool have been forced to bring on Coutinho and Suarez, and they brought on Lucas. Three South Americans to make sure they win this game. Agus down injured as the ball is played forward by Oldham. Colin Turi misdirects his header defensively, needs Kelly to help him out, and he hooks it clear. Liverpool don't want an injury to Aga at this stage. A, they've used all their subs, so he's signalling that he might not be able to continue there, Daniel Aga, holding the back of his right leg, hands on knees at the moment as he stoops over, and... Uh, it's not just today, of course, that Liverpool will worry about. It's the immediate future because they've got uh, Sacco out with an injury as well. Yeah, it's interesting. Obviously, the, uh, the subs have been made as well. So, um, he's, looking, he's walking rather gingerly there and, and like you say, holding uh, the back of his leg. So, uh, it's going to be interesting for the rest of this game to, uh, to see what would happen then. Well, there's the prospect here of Liverpool having to go down to ten men for the final ten minutes here at Anfield, with Oldham very much still in the game at 1-0 down. They're underway, Manchester United against Swansea City. A commentary of that one over on Five Live, but we can get an early update from Alistair Yeoman. Six minutes gone, Ian, Manchester United nil, Swansea City nil. No Rooney, Evra or Vidic for Manchester United today, but uh, as you're a keen student of Welsh football, you know Swansea have never, ever won here at Old Trafford. It's nil nil. Yes, and Cardiff won yesterday at Newcastle for the first time in 51 years. That was a good start for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. 
Uh, but he needs that kind of fortune as well in the league, doesn't he, to come in the uh, weeks ahead. So Agger is limping off. Liverpool are indeed down to ten men. There's no prospect of him returning. He is going down the tunnel, I think, straight down the steps under the famous This Is Anfield sign, but walking in the wrong direction back to the dressing room. And uh, Liverpool will push Lucas into uh, a defensive role. And uh, they're 1-0 up. They're down to 10 men. And this could be a very fascinating final nine minutes or so, Dick Kiley. Yeah, and it's all about timing. Oh, Coutinho from a long way out. He could have finished it, but that wasn't quite able to beat Mark Oxley, the goalkeeper saving to his right. Yeah, nice strike from Coutinho from distance, but Oxley really neat and tidy down to his right. Really solid save and uh, gets uh, Oldham off and running again. All given away by Oldham, grounds with a mistake to Aspas, who's now inside the penalty area, flips it to Coutinho, tells to shoot, blocks, Raheem Sterling, oh, it's an own goal! It's 2-0 for Liverpool! That is desperate misfortune for James Tarkovsky, turns the ball into the back of his own net, Liverpool lead Oldham by two goals to nil, and even though they're down to ten men now, Liverpool are heading to the fourth round. Yeah, really disappointing from Oldham's point of view, because... The ball was given away so cheaply. I think it was Miller as a fullback. He had a simple pass to make, and it was cut out by Aspas. Aspas gets back on him, drives into the box, puts it across. Strike from Coutinho was blocked, and the strike from Sterling. We said 15 minutes ago Sterling should shoot more, and actually his shot was going five or ten yards wide, but took an unfortunate deflection off an Oldham uh, defender and goes into the back of the net for 2-0. Yeah, it was the man who was coming forward so calmly on the ball and looking a good player, Tarkovsky, but he just could not get out of the root of that one. It flashed straight against his leg or his shin and uh, ricocheted into the net. I'm not sure it was on target either from Sterling. Don't think it was. So uh, a definite own goal. If only Sterling had gone off, Oldham might have just still been one down. <laughs> Well, if they hadn't have made the substitution, then Aga could have been substituted. That's the service <laughs> permanent <laughs> That's what we love about the game. And it's 2-0 for Liverpool. But still hold on, pushing forward with Corey Smith. Mixing it with Henderson. It's back to Petrasso, who was so close to the equaliser with Brad Jones, making that crucial save. Again, ifs and buts, but that could easily have been 1-1 if the goalkeeper had not been so alert. Here is... Tchaikovsky giving the ball away and Liverpool have it. It's now 2 2 in that match between Port Vale and Plymouth where Port Vale were 2 0 up. So Port Vale 2, Plymouth 2, already through today. Chelsea 2 0 at Derby. Sunderland beat Carlisle by three goals to one. Nottingham Forest beat West Ham 5 0. And maybe there is room for sentiment in football. Seven minutes remaining here at Anfield and on comes the son of the Liverpool manager in the blue pit of Oldham Athletic. It is 20-year-old Anton Rogers, and there's the applause from the home fans who've been reading all the publicity pre-match about Anton and Brendan. I don't think he's going to beat his dad here today, but he is on the pitch. It's the first time he's ever played at Anfield. Yeah, big day, absolutely, and um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if he can make an impact or uh, the last seven or eight minutes. Well, here come Liverpool looking for a third goal. This is Aspas with the run. It ricochets back to Henderson just outside the penalty area. He's challenged by Kasunga. And the ball is cleared by Oldham. Dayton brings it forward towards Phyllis Kirk, who lets it run back again to Dayton. And now it's Smith. Smith with a chance perhaps to play it forward. Anton Rogers gets a touch again on the halfway line. He's had three, four, five touches now. Spins and plays the ball out to Harkins. And on to Dayton. And again, Anton Rogers makes himself available for a short ball in midfield. Wearing number 17. He used to play at Brighton, was also on loan at Exeter, was Anton Rogers. Introduced to the game not by uh, his dad, Brendan, but his mum, Sue. And here is Patasso on the edge of the area for Oldham looking for, well, maybe a consolation goal or maybe a goal that would set up quite a finish. Liverpool, of course, down to 10 men, but. 2-0 up, no sending off, Hago went off injured. Here's Suarez, Suarez into the penalty, he squares it to Coutinho with a short, that's blocked by Grounds and it ricochets out to the near side. 2-0 Liverpool leading into the final five minutes here on 5 Live Sports Extra. They are surely going to avenge last season's misery at Boundary Park. 
Uh, the ball is given away by Dayton to Raheem Sterling, running at tiring defenders. He's beyond Smith. If Smith brings him down, he'll be sent off. Sterling's into the penalty area. Still he's going, and he's won a corner. And Corey Smith was lucky Sterling didn't go down, but I'll see him being sent off for two yellow cards. But it's also lucky that the three attempts he made to foul Sterling actually <laughs> failed because what like he, he would have been he would have been off the pitch and. That would have had uh, consequences that aren't ongoing for Oldham, so that would have been a dreadful decision for Smith. Huge game for them on Saturday against bottom of the table, Stevenage. Remember, they're only just outside the drop zone themselves in League One. They're defending this corner. Asfas will take it towards Lucas, who heads it across the penalty area. Cleared away to Coutinho, who drills one in. That's blocked as well. And it comes out to Petrasso on the far side for Oldham. Neat spin by him. Infield it goes to Phyllis Kirk and now Wesolowski, Harkins with a short ball to Rogers and Phyllis Kirk. Wesolowski's lost it and Jordan Henderson has it. We're just three and a half minutes away from the stoppage time. There's been a goal now at Old Trafford. Manchester United against Swansea City. Alistair Yeomans. Here's the silence if you can, Ian, apart from a little pocket of Swansea fans to our right, because Swansea City have taken the lead after 13 minutes. A bony through to Wayne Ralph is down the centre. He lobbed the advancing Anders Lindegaard, and we have, uh, well, what a game on now. Manchester United nil, Swansea City won. Uh, yes, thanks, Alistair. It would be a good idea, I think, to retune to Five Live once we finished here on Five Live Sports Extra, where they have commentary on that match between Manchester United and Swansea, with the Welsh club taking an early lead there at Old Trafford. Here, three minutes left. Liverpool to Oldham nil. The goals from Aspas, and then the own goal from Tarkovsky. And uh, Liverpool moments away from a trip to Burton or Bournemouth in the fourth round. Bournemouth would be favourites, you'd imagine. Two divisions above Burton. Here are Oldham in possession with Smith. Good skill from him, the captain, the former Norwich man, out to the near side to Danny Finnisberg. Finnisberg running up the Liverpool defence. Lucas is in there, biting away at his heels. Sterling two, and Sterling releases Aspas. Aspas is had a reasonable game, plays it into the centre circle, Suarez gets it tangled between his feet and loses out to Pasunga. now here's Anton Rogers. what a day for him, out to the near side and Dayton, James Dayton gets past Sterling who looked to handle it, he did handle it, and the free kick has been given and it's going to be a yellow card for Raheem Sterling, it was fairly innocuous but he did move on towards Paul, and uh, that's the law, Dean. Yeah, no, he, he, he definitely did, and he stopped the ball going where um, Dayton wanted it to go, so it was a deliberate handball. And um, whenever there's a handball in the penalty area, we always have a massive discussion of whether it was um, meant or not, but um, it certainly was in that instance. Yeah, deliberate from uh, Sterling. The referee spotted it, even though it was on the blind side of him, and he's walking back uh, a Liverpool wall of two, even though this free kick is quite a long way out. At least 30 yards and out towards the near touchline as well. But two guarding the near post to the Liverpool wall. More likely to be drilled to the far post. And it goes dangerously. Headed away well there by Kelly at the back for Liverpool. I think it's him. He stayed down. The ball is cleared. Liverpool down to 10 men, of course. And Kelly's taken a bang to the head. Which is why the referee has stopped play instantly. And on comes the physio. And, uh, well, there might be a little price to pay for Liverpool with their progress if Agger and... Now Kelly have picked up injuries. Seemed quite an innocuous one. I thought, that, you know, the free kick came in and Kelly uh, was the first to the ball and got a real big header clear, but it um, didn't seem to do anything else but head the ball, so... Well, he's not totally concussed. He's nodding his head there as he lies on the floor and now he sits up and it looks as though he will be reasonably OK. But Liverpool, of course, down to ten men since uh, Agger was taken off or forced off with his injury all the subs on and we're going to have a, a delay here of another few seconds Kelly will walk to the touchline might not be worth risking putting him back on with only a few seconds to be played maybe they'll finish with nine men the referee is ordering a drop ball on the edge of the centre circle. Don't see many drop balls nowadays, do you? Well, not contested. Not one. contested, absolutely right. I don't think this one's going to be contested either. Stephen Gerrard just lobs the mango ball back to the goalkeeper. Five minutes have been added on uh, because of the injuries, basically, and uh, quite a few changes 
for the two teams with the subs coming on. Here is uh, Dayton on the near side for Oldham. Just drops his shoulder, running at Sterling. Sterling has to be careful, already on a yellow card. He blocked him out of it and carried the ball away. And Oldham might have been given another free kick there. The ball is played deeply wide to Suarez, who controls it. Approaching the left side of the penalty area. Oh, he's taken straight out of it by Kasunga. Arm across the face of Luis Suarez. Suarez goes down in the heat. Yellow card for Kasunga. And there's been another goal in that Manchester United game. Let's go to Alistair Yeoman. Swansea ahead for only four minutes. Butler getting to the byline. Left-hand side. Brilliant cross. Javier Hernandez just volleying the ball home. It's going to be a great commentary on five line. After you've finished, Ian, it's Manchester United 1-1-1. Yes, don't turn over yet. There might be another goal here, especially with Suarez lining up this free kick. He scored a special one here against Hull on New Year's Day. This one is uh, further out towards the touchline, but I'm sure he'll give it a pop. Uh, a big angle on this one. Up he comes, Suarez kills it. No one's and I think he was going for the men in the middle. Aspas misses out with his header. It was just behind him. Goal kick. <laughs> it's amazing that you think in any other situation, a free kick from there would just be helped into the goal. But like the fact that we're both sat here thinking he's going to shoot from there. But, uh, and there are, there are rules for portals. Yeah. And there are rules for Suarez. Uh, absolutely. Uh, the ball is headed away by uh, Kelly. He's back on, despite his knock to the head. Here's Larkins near side for Oldham. He's lost it to Raheem Sterling. Good work by Sterling. Forward to Coutinho. 2-0 Liverpool leading. We're into the five minutes of stoppage time. We've had two of those minutes already. It's cleared by Liverpool. Kasunga, who was shown the yellow card for that uh, challenge on Suarez, which is not in any manual. The ball is played forward to the edge of the penalty area by Oldham, but well intercepted by Lucas. And now the leggy Henderson can run it clear. Pushes it forward to Suarez. Arrogant touch in field to Coutinho. Oldham has still got bodies back there, though. It's out to Suarez. Left side of the penalty area. Into Coutinho if he squares it. Oh, he couldn't square it. Blocked by Grounds. It's going to be a corner. He did try to square it. Aspas would have had a tap in for number three. I think it suited Liverpool that the game's opened up and Oldham trying to chase it because it hasn't it's negated the fact that they've had uh, ten men on the pitch. So uh, it's been nice and open and they can isolate uh, the Oldham players. And Oldham are tired. Uh, Suarez into the penalty area, they stepped back off him for a moment there. He could have shot, he decided to take them on and then lost it. Misjudgment by Suarez perhaps. Here's Raheem Sterling, Sterling is brought down and that surely is going to be a yellow card. It was a poor tug at him by the substitute Dayton and the referee I think is just giving the free kick. Yeah, well, Dayton has no excuse, he's a substitute, so his, his legs are probably fresher than anyone's in the Oldham side. But once Raheem Sterling knocked the ball past him down that wide channel, all he did is eyes fixed on Sterling and, you know, was no way letting him get past and uh, lazy, lazy defending, really. And there is the yellow card eventually. The referee took his time, it had to be. He has shown it to Dayton. So... A free kick is to be taken by Jordan Henderson as a few of the supporters leave the main stand around us. Henderson is going to take it. It's halfway between the touchline and the penalty area. And uh, two in a wall guarding the near post for Oldham. Henderson sweeps it across. Headed away though by Oldham. Here's Harkins trying to turn. And um, Sterling has uh, brought him down. Well, he did check him there. Sterling on a yellow card. Perhaps that was not quite worthy of another yellow. Half. Half a yellow, that one, and it's uh, a free kick for Oldham inside their own half. We're into the, the final minutes on Five Live Sports Extra. Hope you've enjoyed the commentary with myself, Ian Brown, and Dean Kiley alongside me. Liverpool took their time, 55 minutes before the first goal, and the game was not secure until the own goal, eight minutes from time. In between times, the trasso was denied by Jones, or else Oldham would have been level. It's been a pretty close game. It's been a, a good effort, to say the least, from the League One team. Difficult to see why they're struggling so badly in their particular division. The ball is with Petrasso out to the far side. Kasunga rolls the ball under his studs, kicks it into the middle towards Harkins, headed away well by Liverpool. And the referee's given them a free kick. And we're into the final ten seconds. And very shortly we might give people permission to tune into the Manchester United game. Yeah, it's on your say so, Ian. On your word, be it, I suppose. Well, there's the whistle, so I suppose they can go there now. But we'll, we'll sum up this one. Liverpool 2, Oldham 0. Uh, Manchester United and Swansea is 1-1. Commentary continuing 
on Five Live right now. But Oldham can be proud, not as proud as last season, of course, when they knocked Liverpool out 3 2. And Liverpool, a measure of revenge. But uh, I think it's the kind of day that will satisfy most people. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I think Oldham can, can leave this fixture with a head held highly. I think it did very well for long periods of the game. Liverpool finally got their quality, came out the other side, and they got their noses in front. But like you say, if you're an Oldham fan or you may be Lee Johnson, you're thinking the ingredients that were shown today, actually, if you take that into a League One, you know, League One uh, campaign, they should be fine on the uh, on what we've seen today because I thought they played some good stuff at times and they're a, a strong defensive unit.